The views and opinions expressed on any program are those of the producers and or the persons appearing on the program and do not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of FRC Media, Bristol Community College, or the City of Fall River. From BCC, the Monster Mac Show. The Monster Mac Show, I hate to let the cats know. From France to the East Coast, slamming folks so. The man about to begin, let's call your friends and your kin. It's Monster Mac, who that is? It's Monster Mac, yo. France immigrated, loot your doors to the U.S. Humorous, yes, but your resistance is useless. Listen as he influenced youth with his rudeness. If you got flex, snap a dude like you. My two picks for a six-man Mac and I'm um, training number one Cause he's cooler than the half of them Slicker than the rest Best believe he cracking some heads Till they tap out Ref count them out yep. Ladies and gentlemen May I draw your attention to the TV screen Currently broadcasting Accompanied by crap everybody and welcome to another edition of the monster mag show can you believe it training number one's on the side of me I, I i can barely believe it dude it's been like uh five episodes six episodes deep and this is the first time i've made an appearance in like the first 25 minutes of the show yeah I, i'm glad you brought that up training because i was meaning to ask you about that because i'm trying to get ready i set up this whole entire set by myself you know what I mean? With that, the that's sweat from my brow. It's just not even true. With my bare hands, and uh, and you're over there macking it with the ladies. You know what I'm saying? We gotta. I am right here, right now, dude. I don't even know what you're talking about. There's no ladies. There's no ladies. No ladies to, on this show, but the, every show before that, you were in the back. I had to give you this big. You were, you wanted this big elaborate uh, announcement. You wanted to come out like you were coming out to a wrestling entrance. You wanted your theme song to play. Th that was all stuff you told me to do. The, the, the dance and stuff. That was you. You told me to do those things. I told you to do it. You were like, let's wait 25 minutes. We'll give you an entrance to make you feel special. Yeah, this is a new format. That's what I called for, dude. But then why are you blaming me? New format, new set, whole new look. We got the, the lights in the background. We got the flags. It's, it, it's 2015, brother. We're getting with the times, you know what I'm saying? New technology. Which stuff doesn't work still, but... It's newer than it, what it used it's to be. It's new. It's a flat screen. Right, right. I'm pretty sure the other one was a giant box of a TV. None, none of that stuff's done. You know what I mean? It's all flat screen these days. But we have a great <laughs> one. <laughs> okay. One on the <laughs> Are we going to talk about technology today <laughs> on the Monster Mac Show? We're not going to talk about technology because it's right in front of your eyes, people. You can see it. It's live. But I'm very happy to see you sit on the side of me training. Me too, dude. <laughs> And this is this will be my seat for the whole night. I will, I'll sit right here, and I will I will I'm, I'm not giving this seat up, Mac. Not for anybody. So here on the Monster Mac show, uh, I had this great idea, another great idea coming from Monster Mac, um, to uh, get up this this mashup of bunch of clips uh, to put on the internet. Okay. And uh, just throughout my career, I've been in so many ridiculous situations and uh, so many. Different wrestling. Really matches. true. There's been like a lot of random stuff that we've done. Like a lot of random stuff. So I think it will come out with a, a, a monster mashup. All right, I like it. So uh, I, I put it all together, and uh, and we're gonna put it on the internet. But it, we're still working on that. And we'll have technical problems. Uh, I th I, the uploading bar is still clicking away. You know what I mean? That's what happens when you when you it's still have DSL, dude. I have a slow modem, brother. Yeah, I know. I know. It's awful. But we're, we're, we're working on it. People. We're, we're, we're working people, on it. You're lucky because right now you're watching the Monster Mac Show season three, and we got that clip for you right now. I believe. Oh, that, there he is. Oh my God, Monster Mac just had a table dropped on top of him. What actually happened was he gave Ghost. Oh. 
a piece of his mind and goes through him head first into the leg of that chair. I paid for special super graphics in the background are going crazy right now. The graphics are nuts. The graphics are I got a oh. shoe in my hand. Another, okay. Another smoke. <laughs> and another smoke coming out. It's not a bad thing, people. It's a friendly reminder of how awesome the car is. No! Please, no! Oh, no. said the man was doing a very good job, which is not true. <laughs> but, uh, 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 why? Fuck him! Mike Awesome's like, I'm gonna break it back right now because I know the guard realms are really close to the ring and I know I can't kill this move, so I'm just gonna do it anyway. And there it is, there's Kraka! There it is, these mitts back, break it in half! I said, break it in half, look at him! Oh my god, Jesus is the man! High five to you, Jesus! And uh, Jesus kicked them guys' asses only because they accused him of being a drug dealer. Welcome to Oblivion, did you skill? And here's my call, Vince McMahon. Here we go. Damn it! Your mother's so fat, she makes me want to puke! She makes me want to puke! There were so many ridiculous things, dude, that I can't even describe a single solitary thing that we did inside of those video packages. I know, and there's so much, Trini, that it's not gonna just be one. We're gonna have a monster mashup for you all the time. Are you gonna say it all creepy like that every time? Well, you don't like that? I think it's a good plug. Monster mashup. No? You're creeping me out, to tell well, you the we'll, truth. We'll have a few of them. We'll, we'll get the Monster Mac editing team together uh, to edit all the different ridiculous things to a sweet beat. And we'll have it for you here on the Monster Mac show. Aren't you awesome? Because I am. Because you're watching the Monster Mac show. Does that make any sense? I like that. What are you? Is that, that's not a leg rest, dude. I'm sorry. It, was that one of the promises made to BCC? Yeah, I made many promises. So that's a pure coffee table. You got your coffee? Your cup of joe? Yeah, yeah. That's coffee in there. <laughs> exactly. Yes. It's delicious. How do you take it? Extra, extra? Because that's what I gave you. Uh, <laughs> delicious. All that's sugar, delicious. no coffee. So, uh, journey number one. Yes. Uh, I want to talk about some of the ridiculous things. So you only got a little tad bit in that clip. Um, let's talk about uh, that zombie movie we did. Uh, now, how much do you want to talk about it? <laughs> because we mentioned it um, on the first episode, the premiere of season three of the Monster Mac show. And uh, we showed a little picture, but I, I got a feeling that uh, people want to see more. So you want to get into some details about like how I didn't want to get painted up like a zombie? So in their movie, it's just zombie yeah, Monster Mac know. and, and non-zombie train number one just hanging out with them still? No negative things. We that's not know. negative. What, that's awesome. We don't have to talk we're, about it. We're BFFs. Right we're BFFs forever. Like, even when you're a zombie, I'm still just your tag team partner. You're hanging out with me, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be fighting away, battling other zombies. Hobo zombie, zombies. Homeless yeah. zombies. Making sure that no one bites you. Right. Juking and jiving. It's hard for you to bite anybody with a mask, so you can't get a very good... These teeth over here, they don't have the... the yeah, they, they don't have the virus, yeah. No. And we're not going to talk about how long we were there for. None of that? No, I brushed all that zombie-ness away. And uh, um, so what are we going to do? Are we showing a clip? Yeah, we're going to show did we get per we did, did we get permission to show the clip? Uh, I don't really care, Trini, if we have permission or not. So you, um, that's per clip. You just get it. That's just... I was in it, dude. I don't know if that's how it legally works, but I'm not going to argue with it because I don't know the law. You're damn right, Trini number one. So we're going to go to that clip right about now. Check it out.
zombie activity. According to the sensors, there's more activity toward the B side and lower level of the building. I could do an active ping, but that could expose your location. Roger that. Zombie intelligence as useless as tits on a nun. We really need to take a look at this. I did a secondary scan on that building. It doesn't look good. You're not supposed to be here. Where's Angel? I'm going back to get him. Worcester zombies. Worcester zombies. Uh, they put the whole of our eyes, you know what I mean? Yeah, we were in Woonsocket, but really... They we clearly were in Woonsocket. Why don't they just call it Woonsocket zombies? Why don't they just call it Showcase Pro Wrestling Zombies? Because <laughs> it was in the Showcase Arena? Yeah, yeah, obviously. It was absolutely filmed in the Showcase Arena. The whole thing. It was, except for, yeah, even like when they're creeping around outside, it's but behind... I do gotta give them props training because it was pretty... It was dope looking, you know what I mean? I thought it was gonna be awful. Yeah, they had some nice cameras. I thought it was gonna be god awful. They had some nice cameras and good editing. Yeah, yeah, really good editing. I like the blood splatting out of my head when that fire... Yeah, I gotta figure out how to do that for the, for the <laughs> Monster Mac show. The, with the, his helmet and... Yeah, yeah. It came out of my head. That was pretty cool. Killed me, you know what I'm saying? Dude, it's funny. In that scene where you bash the the uh, barrel down, it's my head that you're bashing it on top of. They just yeah. can't see it. No, you can't. It's like, why would you do that to me? We're friends. So anyways, that clip was awesome, everybody. Welcome back from that clip. Welcome back uh, from the clip, folks. It was, it was fantastic. There was zombies, and who doesn't love zombies these days? Everybody's on the zombie kick. Yeah, I just personally, I just personally found out about zombies six months ago. Really? Never heard of them before, uh, ever. How'd you first find out about them? Uh, from the, um, there's like a TV show, uh, I Zombie. Oh, isn't that from? It's on like sci-fi. He's like a zombie cop. Yeah. He's a cop and he's solving crimes, and he's a zombie. He has the brain in the jaw. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I've never seen that show. It's awesome. That's how I first. Good stuff. That's probably the best portrayal of of zombies at all. Yeah, I would say so. No, no, warm bodies was pretty good, dude. I don't know. 
warm bodies warmed my heart. I got, it warmed my body. Maybe not just my heart, you know what I mean? The you, warmed on the Mott's uh, Yeah, yeah. We don't want to hear about it here on the Monster Act Show. Because we have other things to get into, my friend. Are you sure? Yeah, because what's the Monster Act Show without bringing back something from the past? And they want to be anything, because you just love to recycle all your old stuff. Exactly. So, uh, coming back to you people is the Monster Mac Show Championship. We're bringing it back here on the Monster Mac Show. Check it out. I'm going to bend over and get this belt right about now. What do you, what do you mean, bringing it back? Oh, I've, it's I've heavy, been... Dude. Oh, man. Look at it. It glisses in the lights. It shines. It shines. I've been spotting it up daily. You've been what? Spotting it up with some spot juice, you know what I'm saying? I don't even. You know you spot I don't juice know what that word means. You gotta spot your gold up. We're bringing it back here on the Monster Mac show. Would you like to hold it? I, I, former I, champion I've, training number one. Well, you you keep throwing this Mac former show. champion thing around, and I don't understand why, since I legally oh, stole it. And get a good shot of it. Hold that right there, and get, get a good shot of uh, the belt. Not me. Get a, no, you got a close shot of the belt. Producer, we got new people back here. Not me, damn it. We got new producer back here. A close up of the shot. There it is. Wonderful people. Absolutely beautiful here on the Monster Mac Show. Well, hey, explain the belt a little bit from a former champion training number one. I, I'm not going to explain anything because you keep throwing the former champion thing around. And I don't like it because you haven't explained anything to me. You just showed up, you had a new belt, you said, guess what, you're not the Muscle Mac Show champion anymore. No. And, no, that's what you said. You said to me, what do you mean, no, I'm not saying that. I'm, I'm not saying I'm not the champion yeah, anymore. Absolutely. You're saying that. Exactly. What do you mean, absolute, stop it. You're just talking uh, in circles. Uh, Who? Muscle Mac Show is uh, delivering a new champion here. I, don't even, but uh, I hate you. still in the works, people. Don't be bitter, you know what I mean? You lost the belt. Oh, what country. did that even mean, dude? So we're going to be displaying it back here until we can find a proper champion for the show. That shouldn't be scratching that, that flat screen at all. So, um, what? You can't even see it, damn it. Yeah, don't, yeah, that's not going to work. Prop, uh, I need a prop guy. I, I don't know. I'll just put it onto the desk now. I'll, can I prop it up there? There it is. Use my cup. Absolutely. Prop it with the cup. There's hot coffee in there. We don't want to stain the belt at all. No coffee stains on the belt. For the Monster Mac Show Championship, we're still in the confinement of figuring out uh, how we're going to uh, contest this because uh, maybe in season two. I feel like you're using a lot of words you don't know what they mean. What? C consignment, contested, like where are you, where, where is this coming from? Season two, um, we could have just had a, a battle royal for the belt right here in the studio, but I made promises here on season three, no battle royals is one of them. So unfortunately, we can't have any battle royals to figure out who the next champion is gonna be, but we're gonna figure some, some kind of way. Maybe we can have a contest of some sorts. What kind of contest were you thinking? I have no idea, Trinity number one. I'm making this stuff as I go. Uh, um, so all right, that, that, I'm not shocked by that. Show. Um, you are a former champion, and we're going to show everybody uh, who you won the belt off of exactly. Uh, um, not a former champion. You just took it from me for no reason. And uh, it was Rob Roberts, and he battled Bob Wire here on the Monster Mac show for it. And uh, this is the first time the fans ever seen the belt. It's had some modifications and upgrades since. Certainly but some modifications. We're gonna get a good shot of it right before we go to the clip. Here on the Monster Mac show, we had fine modifications here, labeling of the belt, and uh, before we go to this clip, we're gonna take three seconds to look at this fine artwork on this belt. Very beautiful chain. I, what? We're gonna go to the clip right about now. Check it out. Guys, I have a surprise. I digged up the footage, but um, Wire, you look a little different. What, you got a haircut or something, Bob? Well, wrestling for Dave over the years, I was involved in a little car accident afterwards, which left my face mangled. Half of my skull's been replaced with plates and screws. Jeez! Which Rob Roberts was at the hospital by my bedside through the whole entire time. That's not my case. Well, what happened to you? 
Uh, You're my, just my, that way? my face is so, so sexy. Yeah, right. That it, it shines and blinds all Shines what? Make, makes people blind? And they all jump towards my crotch. Yeah, Otherwise, my crotch. I eat goddamn breakfast you... when girls are jumping towards my crotch. Yeah, we're like chick magnets, man. Chain of number one. We're showing the clip. The clip that we dug up is uh, Bob Wire's famous moon salt. <laughs> Can those uh, SCCW fans, can they count on seeing high-risk maneuvers like that moonsault? If you want to see a, a moonsault, why don't you see, see me in the ring, tough guy? Oh, training number Anytime, one. Anytime, pal. Oh, no fighting in the studio, training number one. I'm going to go to the next question because I don't want no problems. Um, toughest opponents and why? Bob Wire? Well, one of my, uh, since uh, you know me from ACW, my toughest opponent when I first showed up there was the hardcore match against Rob Roberts. I see. This guy can do anything, go through tables, thumbtack matches, barbed wire matches. We've been through it all, and we're going to make a ma I think we're going to make a major impact in ACW. You guys, you guys, you guys claim you're such good friends. He was in the hospital bed when you got in the accident, but I dug up some footage. It doesn't seem like you guys are such good friends. Can we uh, show the collect? Why'd you hit him with the chair? Hey, you know, don't you start nothing, okay? What hey, those I'm old footage guy. is, I'm okay? Guy. That was totally by accident. I, I, I'm not trying to you start any trouble. You better be careful before I come over there and ring your hey, little Hey, match. I'm not trying to start any trouble. I'm just trouble. asking why. All right? We know that you guys are a couple of hardcore wrestlers and all. So what's some of the most hardcore feds you've been in? Even as a tag team. We went to the top in the tag team world. Sure, sure. sure. Top, please. Well, personally, we've been all over. Rhode Island, Connecticut. Even We even uh, traveled out to Japan a couple of times. Oh, so you, you guys are really um, good friends, right? Well, we're good friends. At first, we weren't as good friends because we didn't know each other real good. But now, you know, we're kind of inseparable. Sort of. Well, uh, if you really want to get down to it, it's not what the clip says. Looks like you guys are doing a little tonsil hockey there to me. <laughs> and you know it. You got me goddamn way. All right? Don't you look at me like that. I'll poke your eyes out. Guys, we can just kiss and make up right now if that's okay. Yeah, you kiss up. Just kiss my ass. Because I'm really getting really sick and tired of you. Hey, hey, let's keep the peace here, pal. The guys, the thing is. You guys are claiming you're good friends, and you did this, and you did that, but, uh... Explain this clip here. We got another clip. Bob Wire is the ref, and he pokes Rob's eyes. Check this out. They're always fighting with each other. <laughs> Bob Wire counting those pinfalls there like he's, uh, trying not to break his fingernail. <laughs> oh, we oh, got him. Do you remember that, Rob? That was a brutal He poked you right in the face. Yes, Master Mike, I do remember that. Why'd you hit him? Why'd you poke him in the eyes? He had to win. Because I'm sick and tired of carrying this guy's ass all over. Carrying him Carry every ass. single week. Carrying this guy as a tag team. He, carrying you. Are you. He's the one. That, he's the number one reason why we lost our tag team title. What? Carrying you. Hello? I carried you. Let's calm down. Don't you remember? Or you just freaking metal player? I had to remember. Okay. Where I came from. Okay, guys. You came from nothing. Guys, count on training. Come on. I found you in the free You know, stuff. guys, you're supposed to be a... Okay. A you remember lethal injection? Yeah, lethal erection. So some people used to call you a... Uh... Called you lethal erection. I bet you don't take too kindly to that. But, uh... Yeah. We didn't like that. Why do they call you such a name? Did you guys... Cause the butt... Did you guys get off on the wrestlers in the back? Did you form a lethal erection in the locker room? No, yeah, cause you're stupid. You had your wife. After ACW's stupid bookers couldn't get our names right, put it that way. Okay, my question was on Lethal Erection, how did it stop? How, how did that faction start? Lethal Erection. Did I say it right? Yeah. I mean, Lethal Injection. Yeah, Lethal Erection, right. So, uh, where did you guys get the name of the idea for the tag team? Actually, since I'll talk, you just sit there and look good, okay? Even though you can't look good. Put it this way, right? I came up with the whole lethal injection idea. All right, it was me, not you. And I, uh, you're the one that never carried me. I carried you. Remember that, all right? Because you were in my shadow for all those years. Well, I see things a little bit differently. Yeah, you might see a little bit things differently because you got a metal plate in your damn head. Hello? 
And I'll put it this way. Lethal injection became, became from, it's a death penalty. Is it? Yes. Yes, it is. And that's where I got it from. He's talking about, we're talking about your injuries before. Actually, um, this guy um, actually probably calls you one of them injuries. We'll check out an elbow injury on this one. Now, here's the chair, dude. You guys are supposed to be best friends. Partners for life. He pulls him down. No, don't hit me. Don't hit me. And, and cracks your oh, elbow. Man. Man. Oh, man. Chair. Now, Let's do we're going to watch. Slow motion. Again? Remember that. Remember that. Book your elbow. Yeah. I didn't break his Look at that. Stuck. Look at that. Yeah, that was stuck right exactly inside the middle of the, the side of the chair. Exactly. Ooh. Your elbow. What were you? How do you feel about that? that? You're hey, supposed to be your best friend. You were the ref. You weren't supposed to be in that match. You're supposed to ref. One, two, three. Remember? Or is that uh, metal plate getting to you well, again? Well, I, I promised the EAW commissioner that I had. A, I was going to call it right down the middle. Yeah, but you got involved. That's what you did. And we're going to show one more clip. Is that okay? One more clip for you guys. And this is what, are you guys supposed to be good friends? No, this is crazy. You throw a chair at your partner's face? This is uncalled for. No, this is, oh. you're in the outside. Oh, oh, Jesus, can we get a rewind on that one? Why are you laughing about it? Jesus! Oh, right in the face. Chair at the face. I got a reward to present to you guys for being on the show. We only award this belt to guys who we think are gonna be top stars in this business, we award you with the Monster Max Show Championship. Okay, um, guys, uh, guys, there's, there's only one belt. There's only one belt, so I don't know how we're gonna do this. Hold on, I got it. Any, many, money, 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 I'm gonna present you with the championship. What? Train what? number one, can, can you get the belt? It, it, sure. You know, this is this is the real deal. This is what it's all about on the Monster Max Show, right here. And you're the champion. How does that feel? It feels great. I hope you enjoyed that, you cocksmooch. Oh, oh you heard it here, folks. Did he just call him a cocksmooch? I think that's bullshit that you got that title, by the way. Hey, I can't believe it. I'm that good. No, you ain't that good. I am that good. Hey, oh, you wish, all right? All right, you wish you were that good. Hey, piece of crap. Huh? Just careful, Robbie. Uh, 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 uh. I personally think it looks good on me. Uh, uh. There you have it, the first winner of the Monster Max Show Championship, Job Roberts. He won that belt fair and square, trainee. And uh, another promise I made to BCC was absolutely no texting. Were you just fiddling with your phone? What? You fiddling with your phone? I, I did not fiddle, I did not faddle. Okay, I was just wanting to make sure because I said no texting on the program. Right, right. So I, I didn't want any of that to happen. No, no texting. So, Rob There's no reception here anyway. No. It's terrible. Yeah, it's like a. a Fortress in this bad boy. I know, it's soundproof, that's why. You, oh. could, you could totally murder somebody in here and get away with it. Well, not if the cameras are on, man. They're gonna see it, it's gonna be broad. Why would you do it if there weren't cameras on? That's the real question. Well, because we're absolutely live here on the Monster Mag show. The police are gonna show up to the studios while, you, while you're, they're breaking down, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> By the time you murder it, the police are gonna see it on the channel, channel 95, and- They're not gonna think it's some like art film no. some, that some college kids made and put on public access? They, they can't just- pass up any art film they see or any pretend murder, you know what I mean? They have to investigate. That's what the cops do. So they're gonna come back. So when when cops around. when cops are watching normal television shows like uh, ABC finger. and NBC and they see people get murdered, they go investigate those know. murders? They're gonna dip their finger in the blood that you uh, are saying are, are gonna be saying, Oh it's just fake blood, it's just fake blood. They're gonna taste the iron and the real blood and then bang her. Well, then I just say that I'm using a, I'm using a starch-based uh, uh, fake blood. Yeah, don't, definitely don't murder anyone on the program. Please, trainee, no murdering. But, All right. Uh, to go along with the Monster Max show, we just showed an awesome clip and uh, you just seen Rob Roberts and Job I getting interviewed by myself, but that's not gonna be the only interview going down on this program because we got from the Japanese um, uh, on top of the mountain hill, um, I, I got my notes mixed all up. What is going on here? The, here the Hadouken go. Mountain. The Hadouken Mountain? No, 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 no. It's uh, the uh, dark forest of the uh, Mount Fuji. 
Okay. We have uh, Take a Da No Bitchy. Here on the Master Match Show, we're going to bring him down right now. Special guest, he is uh, mounted in the Ninja Arts of uh, Ninjitsu and uh, Kiedo. Uh, you want to get in the shot, Ninja? There you go. Follow to the camera. Thank you very much. Take it, take it. Take it. Don't get you. Am I pronounced that properly? Whoa, I see you. You brought some weaponry. Weaponry. Whoa, whoa, what's the camera? Jesus. Okay. I got frightened by the Nunchaku. I'm gonna put this sword back down. Hey, you know the proper uh, uh, arrangement. I'm gonna sit over there. Yeah. I don't know, but he's, he's, he's already perched. I don't, I don't even want to mess with that. All right, that's fine. If he's happy yeah. here on the Master Mag show. <sighs> hey, no bitchy. Can you believe it, everyone? <clears throat> from Mount Fuji, uh, Asian ninja from the Afro uh, Mountain Forest. I am. Thank you for being no, on the Master no. Mag show. Do from we, the Forest Mountain. Do we do a proper bow here? Mm hmm. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you very yes. much. Now, uh, here on the Mop Smack Show, the viewers have been wanting to know what it's like to be an actual ninja. And we finally got to answer some of them questions, people, because we got a, a real 100% true um, ninja in the masses of ninjutsu right down here in the studios of the Mop Smack Show. And I just want to know, ninja, uh, Takeda. No Biji. You know, Takeda uh, no Biji. What type of ninja skills do you know, and which ones have you mastered? The ninja skill passed down from grandfather was how to pay my taxes online discreetly. Fair enough. That, that's a I pretty good skill. I, yeah. I, I, I do that every year. Oh, you have that skill as well? The master ninja? <laughs> Did your grandfather teach you? No, it, there's like a real easy tutorial on the website. Ooh, tax act, you betray me. So, Ninja, um, that's a, a good skill, but uh, I want to know, things are different now from way back in the day of the dojos yes. and the grass huts. Uh, I'm sure it was a lot easier to sneak around and uh, the smoke bomb, pal, next thing you know, you're gone. Um, how do you keep up with modern day technologies? They have cameras everywhere in this place these days. Mostly like right here. Bank robbery. Hey, camera. You know what I mean? They have them laser beam sites. How do you keep up with that modern day technology? How do you get around it? What do you mean bank robbers, laser beam sites? You know, I'm going to a I... bank job or uh, two? No, no. Um, you must take assassin jobs only. We take. We just cover ourselves in all the, the goo that we find natural in the earth, and we just slide past any technology surveillance. Natural? <laughs> earth goo? You cover yourself in earth goo? Uh, yes. Is that dirt? I, I don't even know. I, mud? So speaking Is of it smoke mud? Bombs, um, you obviously use Who's speaking bombs. of smoke bombs? I you. Smoke you are speaking yeah. of smoke bombs. That's, That's a saying. terrible segue. Me speaking of smoke good. bombs. There, thank like you. Smoke bombs. You obviously I got a steak and cheese nice bomb. Sweet getaway. But what would happen if I would take my own smoke bomb and throw it at you? Yeah, I would throw it back at you, and then I would disappear. And then you would disappear? Yes. With your own smoke bomb? You, you're going to, like, pick it up, or...? I would jump. I would jump so high. I see. So, um, that sweet weapon dream. I, I you feel want, like that's. Let's take a sweet look at that bad boy. Oh, it's in the casing. Well, careful, training. Don't. Oh. Oh. Careful, dude. It shrinks. It shrinks. Uh, put it back in the sheath. Put it back in the sheath. I don't, oh. oh. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, I think I'll feel a little more comfortable if you put it back in that sword sleeve. Whew. They give me a niche. Now, personally, uh, uh, that's Takeda no Bichi, where did you get that uh, fine weaponry? Some kind of ninja master? Uh, it was power? forged you, many, You didn't many feel like years. perching anymore? No, my, <laughs> my ninja knees are buckling under the ninja weight. Okay, that, that's fair. <sighs> it's just, I'm very... Uh, 
I feel like you do a lot of upper body workouts, but you slack on the knee workouts. My question was, where'd you get that fine injury weaponry? Ages ago, it was forged in a volcano on Mount Fuji, where I live downstairs. Yeah, I see that in my, my notes. I made it. <laughs> what? What do you mean you live downstairs in the mountain? They have a downstairs? I, I live there. <laughs> <laughs> I, see, I, see. I would like if you visit me, it would honor me if you <laughs> eat my white rice in had discipline. Speaking of your white rice, I noticed you're looking Your white clean. wife? No, not as My wife, wife is Japanese. Wait a minute, did you say white wife or white rice? Wh what rice? Did you invite him over to... I'm, you... I'm not even going to get into it. Hey, his white rice. Okay, Obviously, we're good, we're good. So slim. You rack Slender. a discipline. I, I don't rack anything. You rack a discipline. <laughs> I will yeah. rack you on my torture style. No, no torture racks for the ninja. Takeda, is it- Don't tough? glacial me. I, are you on an all rice diet? Is that is that why you keep so slim? <sighs> what the rice in the dew from the morning rain. You understand, on the dew drop of the eucalyptus leaf, yeah, I... Yeah, you get that stop and shop, right? Like a... Yeah, yeah, they sell it in the... Bags in, yeah, yeah. Section. yeah. Sushi, it's, right? It's in, it's frozen, it comes... Soy sauce. Ugh. Comes with soy sauce, it comes with a pack of soy what, sauce. What's that green sauce that, that you put in? Unagi. Oh, that's wasabi, I like it, it's so spicy on my... Ugh. He's a fan. He just did a dance about the wasabi. It's, so, it's um, so spicy. The people want to know, Takeda, who really killed Michael Jackson? And did you have anything to do with that? The Foot Clan. The Foot? They were involved in some way? They did the whole thing. Let, <laughs> let's not just throw the Foot name around our willy-nilly, guys. I just want to throw that out there. I said the... The Knee the Clan. Knee the Knee... Is that a real clan? Or are you just saying the Knee Clan because your knees hurt before Trey. and you don't want to say Foot again? Trey. I killed him. I just making shit up? I'm, I'm pretty yeah, sure. Come on. Yeah, he's, he's a ninja. I, he, I don't I don't think he's a ninja dude. I think he might impersonate ninjas at birthday parties. I'm, I'm totally a ninja. You just said totally. Ninjas don't come on. <sighs> you dishonor me. Stop. All right, here's the real question. Okay. We'll here's what I want to know. So Takeda, no bitchy. Um what do you think of uh, Vanilla Ice's ninja rap? Mm. It was great, spectacular, ninja, ninja, rap, ninja, it's great, I love it, my whole clan. The we, whole clan? The whole there? clan bops around to it. The knee clan? The knee clan, uh, when we practice assassinations. <laughs> How long, he didn't even squat for that long, I mean. <laughs> yeah, he, he was, it, uh, Trevor, I have a bad. He, Trevor could outperch this ninja, and that's not a good sign. You don't know, my game. And personally, what? I, I think ninjas would be like highly offended by the ninja rap. You know what I mean? More I would like, assume, yeah, yeah. No, you love it. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> so what about uh, what do you think of the Ninja Turtles? Like well, that kind of thing. <laughs> the most popular thing with ninjas these <laughs> days are the Ninja Turtles, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You like the ninja they could never be a ninja turtle. Right, this is just BS. Yeah, yeah, yeah dude. Everyone loves the ninja. What's your name, Kyle? No. Frank? Takeda no Beachy. No, your name is like Tyler. Dang. Tyler. Dang. I'm not going to get no bullshit right now. So I'm gonna yeah, have to yeah, we're going to have to pop, pop that mic off. I'm going to award you this month's mm. natural championship. I thought you were a real nope. ninja. Don't do fake po- I'll give you that. You have a sweet sword, bro. Come on, man. Did you get that at a yard sale? What is that, Halloween costume? What is that? Where'd you get that, by the way? Do you have any yeah, sweet no, ninja costumes Get out of here. Get out. Before you go? Whoa. Don't be careful with that. Uh, I, I seen your bag earlier, dude. I'll just, I'll just grab that stuff. That's you foam. Whatever you want. That's a, that, that's a foam nunchuck. That's not even unreal. He just spoke normally. He was like, hey, see you later, guards. That's what I heard. I'm sorry, people. I tried getting an uh, authentic ninja down here, teaching the ninja ways. That way you could sneak in You know, dude, this is my first episode where I'm actually out here enjoying it. And, you know, this is this is the kind of guest you bring out for oh, us to interview. Yeah, I, I, a fake I ninja. On a, a ninja bay. A fake ninja. Ninjabay.com. Ninjabay.com is where you, you find your local ninjas from the area. Michael Bay ruined Ninja Turtles and Ninja Bay has ruined ninjas. <laughs> I believe that, dude. Absolutely. But Ninja Turtles is great otherwise, you know what I mean? Solid. Solid stuff.
<laughs> Where are we, dude? Uh, I don't know. I've got no is. answers for you, man. I I, I don't ask. The Mac match, of course, dude. Uh, we gotta get to the Mac match. Is it one that we win or are we losing again? I think I have a little special surprise for you this time, Granny. We're losing again. We got um the Toxic Twins, baby. Okay. We got Levesque, superstar, and along with his uh scrawny little buddy. <laughs> Muscular, scrawny little buddy. I like the Dylan. skinny, skinny, uh, skinny jacked, skinny jacked. He is because he's still a kid. Yeah, yeah. So he has much, much muscle as a young pubescent boy could have. That's not a word, but okay. So here we go. We got the Mac badge for you. Check it out in um, wrestling Star Wars. Go to the clip. Ladies and gentlemen, the Holy crowd. frickin' crap! Yeah. Holy crap! Welcome, Trinity number one, to another edition of Mac Matches! Mac, before we go anywhere, I just want to let you know that we are taking on the team of Reflex, Eric Dillon, and Sensational Scott Lebeck, the Toxic Twins. Very, 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 very true, Trinity number one. That is Kid Reflex. And that is Sensational Scott Lebeck, the Toxic Twain. Now this was for Wrestling Star Wars in Newberry, Massachusetts. And right now, Scott Lebeck taunting fans, telling them to bring it on. And is that what I hear in the background, Mac? Is it another player echoing through the building? Why, yes it is. It's Master Mac and Trainee number one. And here I am, ready for action. Super sexy man beast, Monster Mac, and very handsome dude, Trainee number one. I only get the handsome dude ranking. That's cool, man. I see how it is. Yeah, you're working on it, trainer. You're looking better by the day, if you ask me. I don't ask you, but uh, it's much appreciated. Well, if you did, that's what I would say. Now, here we are, ready for action. Who's going to start this off? Is it going to be me? Is it going to be you? I don't know. I'm thinking it's going to be you and Scott Levesque. That's my guess. And here, you're absolutely right, because Scott Levesque's getting in the ring. He looks ready for action, looking nice, looking jacked. I am also looking damn very jacked, so it should be a fair com 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 competition. Competition. A fair contest? Contest, that's what I meant to say. Fair enough, fair enough. We're doing uh, rock, paper, scissors to see who's gonna go in, and it looks like, oh, oh that's you, homeboy, you're yes, in. Yes, I am. I won my scissors. Scissors no, you paper. Did. No, the scissors lost to rock, but that's cool. Oh, so I, I all right. Referee I now checking us. Make sure we oh, oh, Eric Dillon and Scott Levesque with cheap shots all around. Very Eric Dillon cheap. just stomping my ribs. Scott Levesque, oh, I'm fighting back a little bit. This is all oh, the old Scott Levesque forearm surprise. Beating us on the ropes, training number one. What do they have? The whip. whip. We reverse. Oh, they oh. bump heads. And Dump them three. out on each side. There goes Scott Levesque and Eric Dillon to the outside. And here we are, still hot in the ring, baby. The fans are going wild. I'm not gonna lie to you, Mac, I'm hot everywhere. That's right, Scott Levesque regaining himself, still on the outside. The referee going with the cops. Now, Mac, Eric Dillon and Scott Levesque really taking their time, milking it on the outside. They don't want to start this action. They want to run at their own pace. That's right, Trinity number one. They seem a little afraid, if you ask me. I'm trying to get the fans nice and pumped for this match. Eric Dillon's lollygagging on the outside. Oh, he's lollygagging all right. And here we go, ready for action. They really need to get in the ring because I am pumped. I am ready to go. I'm sure you are. And here we are, Scott Levesque, sensational one, finally gets in the ring. He's finally down to to get, get it on. Oh, get it on, you say? Yes, that's right. With and some hot Mexico. wrestling action. Here it is. I'm ready. Scott Levesque is taking me as a joke, but he shouldn't be. Talk he should be. Trash. Oh, oh, there we go. Reverse of the waist lock. What do I got Spins for him? you out. Picks the leg. Oh, caught me by surprise. Stepping on the elbow. Scott Levesque taking advantage of you. Not cool at all, train number one. Working that arm with the wrist lock. Oh, you roll through. I got something for Jack back, the old arm drag. Yeah. There it was. What do I got? He's, he seems very confused by that He's one. He's pissed. Off guard. Rolls a clothesline, duck it. Hey, oh, atomic, atomic drop. drop. You go for the whip. Nope, back into the buckle. Whip him off. Goes oh, for the up and over. Boom, catching him with a second atomic drop. You tag me in. His Jimmy Johnson's not feeling very well right now. Irish whip off the ropes. He reverses. What's going on? He goes, goes for the, the leapfrog. Oh, training number one from behind with an atomic drop. The good old T1 surprise. Boom. Big punch to Levesque. Bang. And a second. That's another one. 
Off the ropes. Beautiful leg lariat training him one. Beautiful. Surprising Scott Levesque. You didn't see it coming. One, two. Only the two count. That's okay. You still got plenty of time to butt him away. Picking him back up, working him very nice, working him into the uh, corner. You go with the uh, snap mirror, bang, neck snap. Off the ropes with a big stomp, training number one. And I'm still working on Scott Levesque here. I'm not finished with them. I'm picking them up. I'm going to whip them off. Drop down. Big elbow to the gut. Oh, vicious uppercut. Mortal Kombat style. It's a good thing we're not on a bridge with spikes because he would be dead, training. It's true. He would be dead. Bang, working him into the buckle again. Staying in our tag corner, making tags in and out. Very nice tag team work. Big knee in the buckle. You got to keep him in that corner. Bring the back out. Down. Irish whip. He reverses. Oh, oh, Eric Dillon with a cheap shot from behind. That was a smart move on Eric Dillon's part. I know it's kind of dirty, but Eric Dillon really needs to get in there because Scott Levesque's been taking a chance. Only one. I'm up. You're still a fresh man. Still looking in this. Still looking damn good if you ask me. Ooh, Scott Levesque stomping on the throat. Very illegal. Standing throat. on my chest in the throat area. Very illegal. Choking with the boo. Oh, I come in for the save. And fall directly on your ass. That's all right. I tripped. I, uh, you should be uh, thanking me for that one. I distracted Scott Levesque from the chokes, but I seem to be distracting the ref. From Eric Dillon stomping my face and chest region. So I don't know about that one. Eric Dillon with the blind tag. There was no blind tag. That was the fake tag. The referee didn't see it. Oh, oh. using that martial arts style of kick. He's got some educated feet. Working you in the corner. There it is. The choke again, training number one. You must not be feeling good. You must be all choked up. I, I'm pretty choked up, Mac. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm out of breath. They've been choking the crap out of me for about three minutes now. Now doing some double team. I've seen some ass punches. Ooh. Trying to defend yourself with ass punches. Didn't really work on Eric Dillon. Does not seem so. Boom, knee in the face. Oh, Scott Levesque is vicious. just giving me the dirty beat down. Uh, he tagged you right on the nose with that knee. Now he's choking away again. Trying to get your stamina down, Trini. You can get Trini's stamina down. You can put him away. Vicious headbutt right to the damaged nose. Here comes Eric Dillon again. Kid reflex. What does he have? Oh, Scott Levesque's going to body slam his own. Oh, he just used his own tag team partner to put some damage on you with a big body slam. Now, Mac, I know that you have a lot of stamina when it comes to wrestling with men, but mine gets down a little low sometimes. Yours is low right now, and what I really need is to show my stamina off by making the tag and putting the beat down on Eric Dillon. Rolls me a little closer to the corner, tags oh. in Levesque. Well, they have, you know, Scott Levesque's been, uh, has many tag opponents. He tags with a few on people. the nose. And he has very good experience in the tag team department. And you can see with the in and out tags he's doing with Eric Dillon. Clubs to the back, I'm firing up. You're still in this. Second headbutt. Oh. But I'm trying to put you away with them headbutts. Working the throat and nose area, I see. Backs me the ropes reversal. Big spine oh. buster, Scott Levesque is down. Very nice training number one. This might be my opportunity to get in here. This could be the changing point of the match, oh, Mac. Going for Two. the pin. Oh, Eric Dillon breaks it up. Very smart move going for the pin. He was right next to you. Goddamn Eric Dillon. Breaking out of it. Here it is. Is this the big tag? Oh, I'm going to make it. No, oh. Skalovec snatches the foot. Oh. Inzaguri. Very beautiful, Inzaguri. Here it is. The big tag. The sexy man beast. Monster Mac Boom. with back the elbow. back elbow. Forearm. Back oh, elbow. Another back elbow. What do I got for the sensational Scott Levick? Big body slam. You hit the ropes. Ah, screaming head Go for the cover. Oh, only a two count. No, I'm picking Scott. Oh, clapping him in the back, trying to keep him down, trying to keep him guessing what I'm going to do next. Big spike. Oh, sidewalk driver. Oh, sidewalk driver. Here we go. One, two, this could be it. Oh, almost had him on that train number one. 
I'm saying he's done. He's all good. It's over right now. I'm calling for, oh, Scott Levesque still in this, working me over into the ropes. I don't know, he needs to open up them fist, Trini. He's going for the big whip. Duck the clothesline, duck the elbow. What could be next? It's a cross body. Oh, and I got him for the, oh, I thought I almost had Scott him. Scott Levesque again out at two. That referee really has to watch Eric Dillon in this one. He keeps trying to interfere. Scott Levesque. Fighting back, I'm throwing some clubs. Big Irish whip. Whips him off. Look at reverses and drops down low. Oh. Masamak, yeah. you went for the crossbody, you went to the well one too many times. Scott Levesque dropped down low and you missed. Two. Yes, I definitely missed on Kick that out. one. I don't know, I'm still in this train number one. Scott Levesque has me in the front face lock. And he's working me over, keeping that choke nice and tight trying to get me down. The fans are getting into it. They're trying to build me up. I'm trying to fight it, train number one. I'm fighting it, that's right. I'm working you over and working Scott Levesque over to the corner. Oh, training number one with the big tag. What's this? Training, what's this? That's uh, Eric Dillon uh, talking to the referee while I beat up Scott Levesque. That's what oh. it is. What, what? What is that? No tag? No tag. There was an official tag. They did not tag. see the tag. Eric Dillon distracted the referee. Now Scott Levesque working me into the, the, the his tag team corner. And uh, Eric Dillon's in. He throws an Irish neck snap. And now he has some kind of funky business for me. Mac, you are a master of the funky business. Smashing my face on the mat three times. I'm all dazed. What is Eric Dillon going to do? Uh, I'm guessing he's going to take advantage of Mac with some more of those educated feet kicks. <laughs> oh, you are absolutely correct, training number one. Using his educated feet, working me back over into his tag corner. Scott Levesque's in. Scott Levesque taking his time to get Irish in the ring. reversed. In the buckle, you go for the big oh. clothesline. Nope, go for the tag. No, you decide not to tag. And hit Scott Levesque oh. with a clothesline while you give Eric Dillon a Bulldog Mac. They are both down. You can only do one thing, and that's tag out right now. I believe so, train number one. I thought I, I could have made the tag, but I, I see the fans Scott are hot and heavy. Coming. They're ready to go. Here comes the big T1, son. It's train number one, like a house of fire, kicking Levesque out of the ring. Irish whip. And the big power slam. Oh my, train number one. Oh, Centon, this could be it. I think it is. What do you got? Scott Levesque's nowhere to be seen. One, two. Oh, I thought you had that one, training. Kicked out at two, Matt. No, it is not easy to kick out of that move. Now, you're gonna have to put him away real soon before Scott Levesque regains his consciousness. There he is. Oh, the stalling walking suit play. Oh, that just might put him away right there. They are going for the pin. I can only hope. Oh, you got something else I see. Oh, I got something. <laughs> You'll see, my friend. You got a, a, quite an idea. Here it comes. Oh, no oh. kick. Eric no. Dillon grabs the front face lock. Scott Levesque, Russian leg sweep. Oh. Boom, takes the DDT. I'm down, Mac. Scott Levesque using his tag team. Well, Levesque wants the pen. A little Come discombobulated on. there. They didn't know who the legal man was. Oh, oh training number one. Yep, Eric down. Dillon's going up. You almost had this. I really think the back body drop would have put him away. They call this double vision. Here it is. Oh, oh. I roll out of the way. Whoa, his ass is really hurting. Scott Levesque gets thrown out of the ring. Here Eric Dillon doesn't know what's going on. Could it be training number one? Could it be? Whoa. The Asato Gari, the STO. There it is. One, two, three. Hey. It is over, ladies and gentlemen. And a victory for Mac Attack. That is right.
STO? Yes, my friend. STO yes, T.O. Enough to do the job. I was about to get in there, fly off the top rope with a sweet-ass moonsault. No need. STO did the job. You're dang right. And we win that one for Team Back Attack. One more on the checkboard. That's like uh, 12 wins and okay. 482 losses. Yes, uh, well, the stats, you don't post the stats, brother. Okay. <laughs> All right, that's another move, I promise. No stats. No stats. No. So we can't talk about how we're number one over a spot <laughs> No, the ratings haven't come out yet. <laughs> <laughs> next week, I have a feeling they're going to be the Skyrocket. Monster Mac, did you know that the Monster Mac show has now recorded over 500,000 episodes? 500,000, baby. Yeah, I'm going to put that up on Facebook. And, uh, you know, with the, with the re-edits and the cuts and the full episodes and yeah, the half hours and the hours. The Christmas and special? The Christmas special. Don't we get the that, Christmas uh, special. The, you know... 500,000 episodes of the Monster Mac show, yep. It took us a long ass time to film that Terminator episode. That has to count at least. Yeah, that's episodes. like three episodes right there. <laughs> Easily. Like what? Seven months to film? Who knows? Episode? It was oh. winter and then it was not winter. I know that. <laughs> no app in that. But yeah, we'll, if you don't know what we're talking about, we'll have it at some point. Yeah, I'm sure he'll replay that. And that'll be a new episode. Another one. Boom. 501,000. Take get that. Episodes up. So, Trini, I just want to thank you for coming down and. Uh, is the show over? Yeah, I think so. What? Man. I think it's over. Nothing's happened. We had that ninja down. Oh, we did have the ninja. I forgot about him. We, show, we forgot about him. When you wrote the check, what was the name? Because I know his name was... Uh, Jin, 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 Jin. The no bullshit. Yeah, yeah. All right, so what, what was the name of the, the name on the check you wrote? My, I didn't write him a check, dude. You didn't pay that dude? No. Did you PayPal him some money? I, it's a, from the Monster Mac account. It comes out of the T-shirt money. Come, that, that, dude, that's my t-shirt money. Your t-shirt money? You're, I'm, I'm also on the t-shirt. Oh, uh, this is ridiculous. You, listen, when I pay for all the t-shirts to get pressed up and then sell them, you, you don't get to take a cut of that profit. Uh, yeah, there's infringement rights. There's no infringement. Infringement. What am I infringing on? Most of that. I don't think so. Don't infringe on me. Oh, uh, I'm going to. I'm saying? I don't. I wish I did, to tell you the truth. I think we got to close the show, Trainer. We'll talk about this later. I, I can't believe you wasted my you my, my t-shirt money on that guy, I know, dude. Man, I'm, you want infringement rights? Yeah, no, I'll I, give you one. I'm gonna infringe my fist in your face, you 